안녕하세요. 저는 지민입니다. Hey guys, I'm finally Korean. I've transitioned. I'm so, so happy. I've completed my look. I'm finally Korean, guys. I have the eyes. Just had a brow lift as well. Um, so I'm so happy. Finally, I've been trapped in the wrong body for eight years. And that's the worst feeling in the world when you're trapped and you don't feel like you can be yourself. But finally, I'm Korean. I can be myself. And I'm so, so happy. Early in the morning, Early in the morning. Early. What's going on, my people? Damn, it's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and all I can do is shake my head right now. This, this is truly, 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 truly frustrating. Very, very, very frustrating. Right? I'm not too sure what I'm going to title this yet, but as you can see from the title, a man has successfully transitioned from the white race to the Korean race. And I, and I mean successfully transitioned by, I mean surgery wise. I mean, not one percentile of this guy is Korean. Let me, let me, let me make this, let me make this abundantly clear. You get in surgery because you feel like you're part of another race. You don't need surgery, bro. If you feel like that, you need help, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna get straight into this. Without further ado, hit the bell to be notified for me. You know I'll be dropping videos all kinds of random times. It really, really helps the channel grow if you push that like button for me, press that like button. It really tells the algorithm this is good content. And and yeah, man, if you're new to the, the channel, please press the su subscribe button now. Let's go. Now, you all saw that fucking video at the start of this video. If anyone's thinking about doing things like this, don't, don't. We as society have grown to accept a lot of things. For good reason. Conventionally, traditionally, this world was male, female, male sex, female sex. Men go after women and women go after men. That's, that's, what, that's what tradition tells you. Now we've evolved and we've modernized because we've, we've come to accept that people have different realities. Homosexuality is a very real thing. That's, how time, that's an example of how times have changed. People feel attracted to the same sex. We can accept that, that's, that's fine. I've got no problem with that. Now, trans, transgender, trans, um, that kind of thing, that's, that's a more kind of new, not new, but that's a lot more, that's been introduced or accepted a lot more uh, recent times. So what, that got a lot of attention around Caitlyn Jenner. You know, not, not that she was the first transgender person, of course she wasn't, but that kind of, she, that gained a lot of attention. Now, society have come to accept that transgender is a real thing. When it first came out, when, it, when I first heard of it, I was confused, I'll admit, I was like, what the hell? What, people can feel like this and rah, rah, rah. I was wrong. I believe tr trans uh, gender is real. I believe that if you are a male and you feel like you weren't meant for that sex, I, I believe that, I do, I do. One thing I will not accept, and I don't give a fuck what, who, who disagrees with me, is transracial. This, you get in surgery to look and appear as another race does not make you that race. All right? I don't care. I don't care if, if we're now accepting and empowering every single demographic under the sun. You will not see me except someone transform themselves into another race. Black, Asian, whatever you want. Middle Eastern. In fact, no, you know what? You know what? I'm sick and tired of paying adult cost for things. Recently, I've been thinking, uh, you know what, I've got to tell you lot something. I've really been feeling like a 13 year old boy. I, re I really have, I really have. I've been feeling like a 13 year old boy, so therefore, when I book, when I buy trainers, I want it at kiddie prices. When I book online for things, I want it at teen prices. In fact, in fact, you know what, you know what, you know what, I've been feeling like I've got a handicap. For, for years, I've been feeling disabled. Even though I'm perfectly able, I've been feeling like I've got one leg. Even though I'm walking, e even though I'm standing up right here, I've been feeling like I've got one leg. So I, I, might, I might as well, because I feel like that, I, I, I might as well um, 
Put me in the Paralympics. Put me in the one-legged Paralympics where I can Usain Bolt and sprint my way on two legs to the, to the finish line. How about that? What now? I'm not gonna waste too much time on this because, because it is a joke, absolute joke here that people are really taking this too far. Now, I am a very, very empathetic and understanding human being. I, don't, I am, simple as. But you're not gonna hear me sit here and be all uber extreme hyper PC and politically correct and tell you that we should empower everyone. If you're white and you feel like you're black, we should empower, no, I'll tell you to suck your mum. Because the problem here, yeah, when it comes to race, is there is very particular experiences that are attached and associated to that race. Black people go for a very particular and, 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 and unique experience that if you're white, you cannot understand. So if you do a little black face and paint and all of a sudden change, get an injection to change your skin color, you're still not gonna get it. Do you understand? Similarly, Asian people, very, very unique experience. I can't, I can't relate. I can't relate. Oh, what you, oh, what you think? Because he had, he had surgery to give his eyes a bit of a, a tint or a slant or whatever, which is a traditional Asian feature. You think he, you think he's Asian now? You think if I put my, you think if I put my fingers on my eyes on some disrespectful thing, am I all of a sudden Asian now? No, I'm not ever gonna understand what that feels like. I'm mixed race, half English, half Guyanese. Yeah, man, a Caribbean out here. You get. I ain't, ever gonna, I ain't ever gonna get that experience. So, just because you get surgery, because you've been feeling Asian, what does feeling Asian, oh, sorry, what does feeling Korean even mean? What, I, I need to hear it. I need to hear it. What, what, because you've been feeling Korean uh, for the last seven years, what does that mean? What does that mean? Explain it to me, bro. Explain it to me. What does feeling uh, Korean mean? Because if you were white before, the only thing you're feeling now is white. <laughs> this is a joke. This is an absolute joke. It's ridiculous and it's tone deaf. It's very, very offensive to a lot of people when you do when when people do these things. Why? Why? <laughs> I, I, I don't understand it. Me, I'm trying to work it out, bro. I'm trying to work it out because that video at the start of this, that is, for me, that is just grossly offensive. That you can feel Korean all of a sudden and get, oh, hi guys, oh, I'm, Kore I'm Korean now. I even got my, I got my eyebrow, uh, eyes done, I'm, I got my eyebrows lifted and this, that. Oh, so you're Korean now? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't give a shit how sensitive this world gets. I am not an offensive person. I'm a very understanding and empathetic person. But these people aren't. That's, that's actually the irony about this. Oh, we can, we should accept everyone and we should be loving. No, no. The people who are actually lacking empathy, lacking intelligence, low IQ dons, it's people like you, people like him. Because <clears throat> if he was smart and tuned in enough to actually the struggles of certain races, the kind of hierarchy when it comes to races, you understand, then you would know, yeah? If you were truly in touch with your Korean side, yeah, you would know that Koreans ain't gonna fucking accept you, bro. You are a mutant to them now. You think what? You think because you get a bit of surgery and you got a ban here and oh, hi guys, I'm Korean now. No, you are an alien. Simple as. It's very, very frustrating, very, very frustrating that, that this is the direction that humanity's going. This is the direction that, oh, you are, oh, I'm trans, oh, I'm transracial, I'm transracial. Oh, you know what? I was a... I was a small Jewish white boy, but you know what? I feel like a, I feel like a six foot nine black basketball player. That's what I feel like. Soon we're gonna be doing trans flipping species. Oh, you know what? You know what? I feel like a dolphin today. I feel like a dolphin. You know what? I, I, relate, I identify as a dolphin, so maybe SeaWorld will give, give me early access in these things. It'll give me free access. Give me, give me early access to shows and tickets and free access to this, that, and the other. No, it doesn't work like that. Because when it comes to race, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, it's a lot of sensitivity around race. You can't just wake up one day and feel like it if you're not actually experiencing it. And that's why we have a problem when people blackfish. Because one day, oh, okay, you know what? I'm, I might be a white person. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get lip fillers and I'm gonna tint, completely transform my skin color and get curly hair all of a sudden and pass off as a different race. Because it's nice and easy for you. Because when you go home, you can 
just shower off and your skin goes back to normal and your hair goes back to straight and you get that and you get the luxury of both like it's a trend and a fashion whereas me i've got absolutely beautiful hair but i can't do i can't do anything about this it's, it's just flat up it's flat it's the way it is you know what i'm saying or before i got locks it was just afro you know what i'm saying but it's a trend to some people this is truly truly embarrassing and if anyone in my in the audience is 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 transracial send me a message on the dms send me a message on instagram and i'll get you on this program i'll get you on my show because I'd, I'd, like I'd like to ask questions I, I won't grill you i ain't gonna be on you as much as i think it's a joke thing i'm gonna i'd, I'd ask questions I, I'd, I'd, i would ask questions and i'd get to know about your mentality i'd like to know about your psychology because you've got to be a fucking lunatic to think like this so i'd, I'd, I'd like to study your psyche and you can educate me. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, if this is the way society's going, I'll hold my hands up. I'll say, you know what? I made a video three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I was very, gr I was grossly offensive to transracial people. My bad. I need to do some education. I've got no problem doing that. No, no problem at all. But for some reason, I just don't think it's going to work out like that. Transracial, trans race, all this stuff, it cannot, do not let it become a thing. We're already super sensitive and going the wrong way in society anyway. Let's, 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 I'm very happy with trans, transgender and all the rest, more than happy. I, I believe that. I believe you can actually be, wake up and, and feel like the opposite sex. Some people might argue, oh, if you believe that, how, how would you not believe the race thing? That's not how race works because their version of what, how they feel, like they feel black, you don't know what that feels like in the first place. So the problem with race is that they're they're basing their feelings off of probably stereotypes. They might be like, oh, oh, I, I like chicken. Oh, I, I like chicken, which everyone likes chicken. But they're like, oh, I like chicken and I like to run. I must be black at heart. <laughs> this is truly, truly sickening and grossly offensive. I'm not even, and I'm not even Asian. I'm not even Asian, I'm not even Korean specifically. And I'm offended by what this person's moving like. Absolute joke. Let me know your thoughts below. Like, comment, subscribe. Boy, I'll see you at the next video, boy. Peace.